Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Back by popular demand, today's video is on the 270 Winchester, one of the most popular hunting cartridges there are out there. Ask people, hey, what's your deer boo light slinger? And a lot of people, 30 out 6, 270, 308. 270 is one of the most popular ones. You guys ask me for more 270 videos all the time. So today, here we are. I'm taking out my 270. This is my Weatherby Vanguard Sporter in 270 Winchester. This is pretty much the cheapest Weatherby that you can get. They still make these. Believe it or not, I got this one on clearance from Wally Word for 300 beans. It was half off. Nowadays, I think I've seen them in the seven hundo to eight hundo but this is pretty much the cheapest weather you can pick up absolutely love it has a fantastic trigger trigger the bolt is crazy smooth but this is my 270 um absolutely love it it's sweet optic i have on here is a zero tech vengeance if you guys have been watching the channel you know i'm a big fan of zero tech they got clear glass every single one i've ever put my eyeballs on but that's my 270 and the optic the ammo we brought out today, also by highly, highly requested, is ammo we brought out for this video, also highly, highly requested in 270. A lot of you guys asked to see this video. We've got our hands on some Remington Core Locked. This is, you can see on the box there, the 130 grain Core Locked PSP. 130 grain, common weight for 270 Winchester. But here's what we're going to do today. I'm going to go out to the range. We're going to do some groups at 100 yards. We're going to do some groups at 200 yards. We can see, hey, does my weather be Vanguard in 270? I like this core lock stuff. Uh, but let's see what happens. These are always really, really fun videos. We'll film it, measure the groups, bring it back here, and see how we did. Should be pretty cool. Check it out. All right, now out here at the range, we're going to do this. 130 grain core locked in 270 Winchester. Do some groups at 100 yards. Do some groups at 200 yards. See how this weather be likes it. This thing has a really good trigger on it. All the zooms, 20 zoomies. Do three more and then I'll let it cool and we'll send them at 200. Same at 200 yards. All right, so you guys saw the footage there. Let me grab my papers. <clears throat> one thing I have found out about these Weatherbees, I also have this exact same one in 243. They do not like to get hot. So that being said, since I already knew that, I only flung six out of them, six out of 100, and then I let it cool down till it was cold, 
and then I did six more at 200 yards. So two three shot groups, 100 yard shots, let it cool, then the 200 yards. So here's what I got. 100 yards with that core lock, you guys get the gist. My first group at 100 yards was a 1.21 inch group not too terrible and then it opened up i told you i already knew ahead of time that once these get hot they don't do as good i got a 1.43 inch group at 100 yards so 1.2 was the best then with a warm slash hot 1.43 inch group then out to 200 yards so what impresses me is when we can do good at 200. so how'd we do at 200? When we go out to 200, the, the amazing is when you get under two inches, at least I think. So at 200, I got a 2.13 inch group. So with some lead nose hunting ammo, to me, that's pretty good. 200 yards, 2.1 inch group, two thumbs up. But then you can see when, it got, when I got hot, it was an even more extreme spread at 200, uh, which you might um, kind of assume that anyways. One there, one there, one there. Once it was warm. 4.17 at 200. Now, you probably wouldn't be popping three deer and then going out here. So, yeah. But still, uh, it's kind of nice to be able to be on the bench and keep going without having to let it cool. But at 200 yards, I'm impressed with that. A 2.1 inch group with that core lock stuff. And then the best we got at 100 was 1.2. But real quick, if you got a 270 and you're hunting with this stuff, let me do a drop chart out to like 500. I'll do 50 yard integrals just to give you the holdover points. If this is what you're taking out in the woods, get you some drop info on where you need to hold. Check it out. All right, so here we go. Here's the drop chart. Assuming you sighted it in at 100 yards like I do, out to 150, it's dropping not even an inch. Out to 200, it's dropping three inches. 300 yards you're going to need to hold over about a foot see that 11.6 inches 400 yards 27 inches and out to 551 inches and then the moa and the mills is there to tell you how much you need to dial your scope if you're not holding over there but hopefully that's some helpful information if you use these core locks in 270 and get you some quick holdover info but there you have it guys remington core locked 270 winchester 130 grain i've taken a bunch of deers with the core locked in the woods i'm sure a bunch of y'all have too but appreciate y'all watching let me know in the comments down below how many y'all are core locked fans and how many deers you've dropped with them appreciate y'all i always love hearing your hunting stories we'll see you on the next one Hoo -hoo. Oh.